Yeah, 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 yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Listen, shout out to y'all real quick. You know what I mean? Everybody that continues to support, that continues to grab the merch via the print champs, make sure you go ahead and do that, man. You know what I'm saying? As crew neck season is approaching, as hoodie season is approaching, I'm going to bring back this crew neck right here, LB Enforce. This was uh, the, the militia crew necks were real brief you know what i'm saying it kind of uh didn't materialize because we came up with these concepts right around the same time we came up with the windbreakers and that was you know right before covid jumped off so i scaled back on the crew next the militia crew next and i just pumped hard with the windbreakers the windbreakers been doing well the militia crew next are still um they're going to be available on the website soon so you know just something for y'all to keep looking out for man um yes so a scrimmage happened today in eagles camp um, a lot of people were up in arms about, you know, Carson Wentz not uh, playing in today's scrimmage due to somewhat of a maintenance day. He had some type of uh, some type of tissue injury or something like that, like a medium grade, low grade, you know, deep tissue injury. Um, not, not much that I'm going to take from that. I took it from as a precautionary thing. Um, I'm, I'm starting to have a problem with this front office and the way things get done. So if you're going to start doing things from a precautionary standpoint, you got to check those boxes all across the board. Now, we know why Carson Wentz didn't play because they didn't want a further injury. You see what I'm saying? But why would you have guys out there like Deshaun Jackson? You know what he brings to the table. He's a vet. Why would you have guys out there who don't need to play? You know what I'm saying? You got one guy who don't need to play. You need to do that for everybody if that's the point, especially if you out here just to evaluate talent. I don't think Darius Slay should have played. I don't think Deshaun Jackson should have played. It's a bunch of guys who are proven on this team. Roddy McLeod, who we can't afford to lose. Fletch, I just don't think some of them guys should have played, period. You know what I'm saying? But that's what the coaches do. The coaches make those decisions. Maybe they know something more about guys having good weeks and guys having too much time off. Maybe maybe it's a certain way that those, those guys evaluate stuff. Um... Before I get into the Jalen Rager news, I'm going to get into a little bit about uh, Jason Peters. Now, uh, a couple of days ago, I was standing on the firm side of, you know, if you're going to play left tackle, he deserved left tackle money. I'm still kind of there. But it is somewhat, now that I think about it, it is coming off a little greedy, a little selfish, a little entitled on his behalf. Because this is a guy who made over $100 million since he's been playing football. You see what I'm saying? Um, with the same organization, uh, for the most part. And you, you know, you can't. You can't take one for the team. You can't help the team out. You're 38 years old. You're not going to get an extension. Um, I just I just don't understand the logic behind that. But also, I do understand players wanting their just due and wanting to be compensated for the position that they play. Now, Jalen Rager. I'm not going to be one of these guys that's going to blame Jalen Hurts for Rager getting injured. I'm not going to blame the medical staff for Rager getting injured. I'm not going to even blame Rager for Rager getting injured. Now, at this moment, while this video is being made, we don't know the extent of the injury. Um, he has to go for an MRI, and that'll tell us more. But everybody's leaning towards his not being so serious. Um, usually, when you get hurt, they do a various they 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 do various tests. Uh, for in, for instance, if you get hurt on the leg, they want to make sure you could do a straight um, a straight leg raise. If you can't do a straight leg raise, that's an indication for a torn patella tendon. You see what I'm saying? They got tests to do to see if you automatically tore something because you should be able to do certain functions if it's not a tear. Now, I'm looking at it like it's probably a sprain, but I think he could do a lot of what's being asked of him. And I don't think it's, you know, that bad. You know, I mean, if it was that bad, then we wouldn't have heard nothing right now. We would have just wait and they'd have found a way to broke, break the news to us. This is on the fault of the front office. All of them, Doug, Howie, whoever makes the call to go out there and say, well, in a scrimmage with valuable assets out there scrimmaging, basically practicing, if an interception occurs, we're going to let it play on. That should be a blown dead play. If your quarterback throws an interception, the play should be blown dead. You don't want to risk injury on returning an interception in a scrimmage. If everybody's saying, well, Jalen Rager should have pushed him out of bounds. Why do he do X, Y, and Z? Listen, if the play is still live, he's still expected to do his job. He only acted how he should act in a situation like that. You know what I'm saying? So you can't blame Jalen Rager. You got to blame the coaches. You know what I'm saying? In a live scrimmage, if there's a free... Why do you think quarterbacks have red shirts on in a live scrimmage? Nobody ain't allowed to run free to no quarterback in a live scrimmage. Not no live scrimmages. I, you know, it, it just has... I just haven't seen it in no live scrimmages that I've been around or that I've been a part of. 
You know, at the end of the day, I think from a front, you, you know, you know, it's, it's, I, I'm upset. I'm upset about this. It, it just doesn't make any sense to put him in a position like this. I think that nobody's thinking. I think that they're just trying to get as many reps as possible. Now, which you should. But listen, we're not cursed. We're not none of that. I'm, I'm not going for none of them type of excuses. I'm not taking no avenues. Any, I'm not doing any of that. The fact of the matter is this. You got to protect your assets. Carson Wentz and quarterbacks are assets, which is why they, they have red shirts. You see what I'm saying? Certain players got to be blown dead. You got to try to avoid the bang bang plays as much as possible in a scrimmage or in practice. You're not even scrimmaging against another team. You're scrimmaging against your own team. So what if he would have hurt Will Parks? You know what I'm saying? Those are two assets who were involved in the play. Will Parks gets the interception. Jalen Rager trying to uh, tackle Will Parks. They play for the same team. You see what I'm saying? They're both needed. That, you know, and from, from from that aspect, it just don't make no sense. Who got the whistle in their mouth on the sideline? Who's out there? Who's out there supposed to be making sense of situations like this? You know, what I mean, I don't want to. You know, it's just it's crazy that we're not using our heads. You you know you know what I mean. Everybody's jumping the gun, blaming the medical staff. That's that's last year's excuse. The medical staff can't. If, if a guy gets broken to a million pieces on the field, the medical staff ain't responsible for gluing him back together, getting him ready for next week. That's not the medical staff's job. That's not their job. The medical staff's job is to come up with the proper diagnosis and to, and to put these guys on a physical therapy plan and get them back into action as soon as possible. You know, it's crazy when things happen that you could prevent. You couldn't prevent Brooks. You could have prevented this. Now, I don't think the injury is serious, but at the same time, it's just terrible, man. It's just terrible. Listen, man, I put the link to the description of the merch shop. Um, shout out to Print Shop. Shout out y'all, man. You know, we got a game in two weeks and stuff like that. Shit just shouldn't be happening. You know what I'm saying, man? Make sure y'all sub. Make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all do all that stuff, man. And, you know... I'm just waiting for the news like y'all to see if it's as serious as they say it is, man. Let me know what you think in the comments.